Hello, and welcome back to Trails Through Daybreak. So, in the last episode, we finished looking around Tyrell, Station Street, Sidon District, and then did one of the side quests, which was for the Sidon District. Uh, in this episode, we're going to do the remaining side quests and free time events and the movie theater. Watching both movies, yeah. So, that is the goal. And I will mostly be looking over occasionally to make sure my voice is actually recording. Because, my god, do I hate having t to redo entire me voice sections. If it if they were voiced and I my, my voice wasn't coming in, that'd be a different story. But when it's just me that gets cut out, and I am talking for 50 minutes straight... Oof. Having to do that twice in a row is painful. But it's over. It's over. We're moving on. Um, and we got to talk to Stefan now. His dad is roped into some religion? Uh, that's what I read. That's what we read on the board. Are you Stephen or Stefan? I'm going to go Stefan. Are you Stefan? <laughs> the guy that wrote the request? We're with Dark Ride Solutions. You really came. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried you wouldn't even see my request. You mentioned worrying about the safety of your father. Y yeah, he got caught, got himself caught up in some suspicious new sounding new religion. What he chooses to believe is his own choice, of course. Uh, but I haven't been able to get in touch with him for some time now. And that's why I'd like you to try and find out if he's all right or not. That's all? Don't want us to try and knock some sense into him? Feel like that's what most, mo most people in your position would try to do. I have mixed feelings on the whole situation, to be honest. That religion in particular. It hasn't been all bad on us, him, or him, really. Have you heard about them? They're called Libra Domina. Ooh. Never heard of them. Nor have I. Its fundamental beliefs are largely the same as those of the Septian Church. They worship Adios for one. Wow. Literally every religion it still worships basically the same god. Uh, but on top of that, uh, it's all also based heavily on the concept of karma. Uh, doing good deeds brings rewards, while bad ones do the opposite. Okay. It doesn't sound so bad to me. As I said, it's actually done a lot of good for him. My father was kind of a terrible person before he joined them, you see. He refused to work and would just spend all of his time either gambling or drinking himself silly. Mom got tired of it and they eventually divorced. I didn't see him after that. Well, not until recently. When I finally met him again, it was like he was a totally different person. A friend of his apparently recommended he join the church, which he did. And the church put him back on the right track. Pretty much. He became a really hard worker and dropped both drinking and gambling. He's shown regret for turning his back on his family at the time, too. I can't say it's all bad. I'm partly happy he joined, actually. But I just can't shake this anxiety I feel the more I hear about them. What have you heard about them? Uh, once people join the church, they start trying to convince anyone and everyone to join, too. Okay, that's... Recruiting more members is considered one of the good deeds I mentioned earlier, and it lets you level up as a person. Okay, pyramid scheme. Gotcha. Cult. Cult. I've heard that those who donate particularly large sums of Mira are given special blessings by the religion's guru, too. My father's hoping that if he does enough good deeds, he'll be able to bring our family back together. Nothing wrong with wanting to do good things, yeah, but I'm not too sure about uh, the recruitment and donations. The Arusha I, who I believe in has no interest in those things. So that's why you're worried. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, what if the, it was just the tip of the iceberg? Uh, what if there are worse things happening behind closed doors that I don't know about? So could I ask you to go in and check on him? Hmm. This really is a job more fit for us than the guild or the cops. What should we do? Should we take it? Gray and chaos? Ooh. Sure, we'll take your job on. With that settled, next step is figuring out where to start looking. You said a friend of yours, dad's, uh, 
dad's the one that convinced him to join the church, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's right. His name's Carson. I remember hearing that he's usually around in the Riverside District at this time of day. Uh, around the Terrace area, specifically. I think most people that want to join the religion or have uh, any sort of interest in it uh, have to go through him. Good start as any. All right, let's head to Riverside and see if we can find Carson. Leave the rest to us. We'll let you know if we learn anything useful. Thank you, and good luck. We should go ahead and make our way over to the terrace area of the Riverside District. Commencing mission. Okay. No, let's uh, get a little more from him. Carson's over at Riverside. He's usually around the stalls. If anyone knows uh, what's going on with my dad, uh, it'll be him. And I'm so sorry for getting you involved in this mess. I can't thank you enough for helping him. That's what we do. Let's do this. <sighs> Terrace area. No. Oh. No, he's hiding under the bridge. Never mind, he's... Sitting here. And that looks like the person my client told me about. Hey there, you're Carson, yeah? Uh... Stefan told me to come to you. No, oh, yes. I, you, so you know Walton's son, then? No, I'm Carson, yes. I'm pleased to know you have an interest in our activities. Allow me to explain Libra Domina. Yeah, about that. I was kind of hoping we could hear all of this from Stefan's dad, you know? Walton, I mean. I see. Unfortunately, Walton is currently busy with religious service. What kind of religious service? Ah, yes. Walton hasn't been able to make his ties lately, I believe. He's helping out with the services to the church. After all, ties and good deeds both pave the road to a virtuous life. So if you would allow me to explain our faith to you, I will. Huh. Do you wish to join Libra Domini Faith? The Libra Domini Faith? Well, I'm intrigued, at least. Of course, I can imagine you'll need to experience the wonder of our beliefs first. As it happens, though, you are in fact quite fortunate. You see, we're scheduled to hold one, uh, uh to... We're scheduled to soon hold the cel ceremony of purifying scales. The ceremony of purifying scales? What's that? Well, to start, I should make uh, clear that the da Libra in our faith... Uh, the Libra in our faith's name is the same Libra of the scales, all made equal by scales. The judgment is passed in the ceremony. Good shall be repaid with good, and evil be repaid with evil. Uh-huh. So that that's uh, the particular flavor of your faith. So then, what should happen when the scales tip? Well, for those who have done much good, our guru would grant them a blessing. For ones who've done little good, or ones who do done too much evil. Our religious leader's hands hands down divine punishment. Don't like the sound of that. What does divine punishment of yours entail? Should it be called for, they will be forced to even the scales with their own blood. Oh, wait a moment. With their own blood? How, ex how exactly? Well, honestly, I'm not sure myself. After all, I've never done an evil deed in my life, so I'm not privy to the details. You need not worry about it. As long as you earn your good deeds by preaching and tithing, you shouldn't have cause to meet such fate. Yeager cores can be pretty hard on people who break the rules too, but I don't know. This feels totally different. I don't like it. I, the, this reminds me. I, I was going to take Aaron. Damn it. No, come to think of it, Walton will probably be partaking in the gathering too. Busy as he might be with the service, joining the ritual, uh, ritual is the duty of all believers. Yeah, we'll take you up on that offer to see the ritual then. Might be a good way to figure out if we want to join your faith or not. Well, of course, I'm thrilled to hear you're interested. The ceremony of purifying scales should be starting momentarily, in fact. The site of the sacred place is suitable for free and purifying souls, the souls of the people. The site is a sacred place. Riverside's concert hall, of course. What? Which we have reserved for our use. Now, if you don't mind, I'll head over there now so I can inform the receptionist that you'll be coming. Sure. Thanks. 
The Libra Domina feels more dangerous than I first thought they would be. The silver lining is that it sounds like our client's father is still well. I do hope we'll be able to find him at this meeting. Nothing we can do except roll with the punches. It did sound like everyone would turn up, though. You all be careful while we're there. Of course, a mistake could turn an entire room of disciples into enemies. Don't know what they're going on about, but with the concert hall being sacred and whatever. Anyway, let's stop these weirdos. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Fairy, but you were in the previous quest. So I have to. Let's do this. Really quickly, switch in, Aaron. You have to take, yeah, Rosette and Anyas. Okay, oh, I hit. Aaron, there we go. Oh, I, <laughs> I haven't even talked to her. Okay, so expense reports go here. These people, papers go here. You good there? Don't dive in over your head. You just make a mess of things. Sorry, uh, this is just kind of tough. But I want to get good at the Orbal Net, so I, I'll keep working at it. So if at first I don't succeed, I'll try and try again. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have it down pat in no time. Man, filing documents is way harder than it sounds. But everyone else can do it, so I should learn it too. I just gotta keep at it. Sure. I haven't seen you in like two episodes. <laughs> Alright. Concert Let's hall. Let's be on our way. Oh, it's behind me. Oh, there you are. Hello, every- again, everyone. I've been waiting for you. I've already spoken to the receptionist about your wish to observe the ceremony. It will begin momentarily. Are you ready to join us? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Show us in. Did we fill in, Aaron, on what's going on? Of course. Come with me. Mishai, what is the name? I, ca I can't read what's on those amps. It's yeah, it's too it's too blurry. Mesha something. Goddess Adios, we offer our gratitude on this holy day. I've done so many good deeds, I'm guaranteed a blessing. Glory to Libri Domina, Libra. Glory to Libra Domina. Well, that went from zero to nuts real quick. He just shows. I'll excuse myself now. May our guru bless you all. Yeah, thanks. Goodness, they are certainly passionate. They sure are. Might be new and all, but I get the feeling they're gonna be soon gonna be a big pain in the ass at this rate. Honestly, I'd be out the door already, but we gotta find our client's father first. I believe I've located him. That man over there might be him. How do you know? It sure looks like our guy. Good. That confirms he's still alive, at least. What do we do now? The hell? Did he give you a picture? How do How do we know? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Everyone, listen up. Let us offer up our prayer of gratitude for this day, guided by the scales. Oh, dear Adios, goddess of the sky, we thank you for this day of salvation. Very well, then. In the name of Adios, I hereby proclaim the beginning of the ceremony of purifying scales. We shall correct the injustices that have been left untouched for right and wrong and purify our chaotic world. Not like mindless drones and people here. Should we follow along as well? Nah, we're just observers, remember? Don't gotta do anything. Yet. Hey, creep the hell out anyway. Just thinking about him acting like this. About, about acting like them. For once, I agree with you. First, let us begin by rewarding those whose scales tip heavy with good deeds. Followers, Carson and Dolly, please step forward. Your worthy tithes and deeds in attracting new followers have caught the attention of our... I, uh, uh, wait. Caught the eye of our goddess. Therefore, I grant you both the title of Honorary Evangelist. May you both be a role model for all who fo followers in our faith. Honorary Evangelist? I'm hardly worthy of such great honor. 
I, I'll dedicate my whole life to proving myself worthy of such a title. That's the same Carson we were speaking to before, yes? At least he looks happy, but with the donations and recruitments... Just feels like a classic pyramid scheme in here. To continue forward, it is time to punish those whose scales tip heavily with evil deeds. Follower Walton and the two transgressors from the other day, please step up. What the... Uh, th there's Mr. Walton, but who does he mean by transgressors? It's going from bad to worse. First, the transgressors. Though followers of your faith you may be, you are insincere. You consider us deviants, going so far as to report us to the authorities. Violating the teachings of Adios is a sin heavier than any other. Therefore, I shall hand down your deserved divine punishment in her place. What? Screw that, you crazy cultist. You're a madman. I just stopped by for the hell of it. I'm so done with this. Let us go. And you, follower Walton, stand to receive the goddess's divine punishment as well. I'm well aware that my tithes are insufficient and I've failed to do enough good deeds, but I've been trying very hard to serve the faith by handing out flyers and recruiting people. I will serve as best I possibly can. Please, I beg for your merciful judgment. You admit your failure at doing enough good deeds, but fail to acknowledge all the evil burdens you carry with you. You continue to fail to take responsibility for your past. Were you not a drinker and a gambler? One that neglected his family while at it? Your lack of good deeds and the heavy weight of your evil deeds tip the goddess's scale ever away from her favor. Th that can't be. I thought by repenting and dedicating myself to my faith, my sins would go away and I'd be able to return to my family. That would only be possible if you'd evened the scales with good judgments. Dare you object to the goddess's judgment? No, oh god, this is awful. Uh, no, no. You needn't fear. Divine punishment as it may be, our sacred ritual will cleanse you from your sins. Open your arms wide to your judgment. I shall observe your last moments myself. What? Now, away with you three. Your last moments? With today's judgments, Adios' scales find themselves even once more. May you all continue with your good deeds evermore, so that the goddess may acknowledge you. Glory to Libra Domina. Praise be to Libra Domina. This is utterly beyond the pale. Let us, letting a religion, religious movement like this stand is a threat to everyone. I doubt they're just going to walk out of here now that we've heard all that. Wait. I doubt they're going to... They're, they're just going to walk out of here? You mean let us walk out of here? Probably going to try and... Oh, try to convert us the hard way. If that's what it takes. Okay, I see what you're saying. Makes me feel sick. Let's bounce before Carson gets back. Let's chase after our client's father and the rest. Afterwards, Van's team managed to sneak out of the concert hall without being noticed. When they got outside, they saw the guru boarding the a luxury sedan driven by the Libra Domina follower. They also saw Walton and the two transgressors being forced into a second car. Van approached the leader as they were climbing into the car, managing to slip something onto him unseen. I saw that. Did you plant uh, something on his clothes? Is it a transmitter? That's the kind of thing you hear about in spy novels and such. You got it. Bit of an older model, really, but it's still the same grade used by foreign military, foreign intelligence divisions and such. Got it through some, let's say, less than legal means. I've been waiting for a while to get the chance to use it. It'll send a, its signal straight to the Zypha. Well, let's report back to our client first. Gotta make sure he's aware of what that we found his dad. Allow me to make the report, then. Go for it. Let's hurry, gang. Van and company got into their car and soon fo started following the signal. Soon after, the transmitter stopped, and they arrived at the last place they could trace the signal. Station Street? 
Of course. So, they've gone underground. It's quite the ideal place for any illicit activities if going undetected is your goal. Let's get after him, or we're gonna lose him. It's time to go settle this. Oh boy. I was worried this might happen. The tracker is so old that its signal's too weak to accurately follow underground like this. Should we split up and see if we can find him? Please wait one moment. The transmitter's orbital waves are faint, but it is possible to detect them. So if I use Marduk's search software, I should be able to pinpoint the transmitter's rough location. Good thing we've got you with us. <clears throat> it worked. The transmitter is currently north of us and moving farther into the runes. You really did it. That's amazing. You're really earning your keep, huh? Let's get moving. Got it. I mean... I'm not even gonna look. <laughs> oh no, they went to the depths. Who would have guessed? <laughs> this is one of Giacomo's old hideouts. Huh, there's a funny coincidence. Anyway, we've got, ain't got time to waste. We're going in. Several minutes before. Ooh. Hey, you son of a, what are we even doing here? You can shove your divine punishment up your ass. Oh, Adios, please forgive me for my sins. The purification ritual before the ceremony is now complete. Now I shall summon a servant of the goddess to deliver your uh, punishment. Uh-oh. Not a flute. Oh, one of her hands, uh, six hands, bless us with your presence. That's familiar. That is familiar. What? Th that's no servant of the goddess. That's a monster. Well, I can't believe it. <laughs> I will admit that as much as I tried to make it seem like a legitimate church, this part straddles the line of believability. Unfortunately, this is the only powerful monster the artifact is capable of summoning, so I fear it will ha have to do. That's not the same. No. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's a little nightmare to control, I'll have you know. <clears throat> It refuses to do what I tell it to, unless it gets fed in a timely manner. But you just feed that thing? People? What is the meaning of this? Have you been trying to deceive or deceiving us, Father? Not at all. I never expected anyone to believe my lies. You just happen to be gullible enough to do so. Besides, when I said I would send you to meet your maker, I very much meant it. That is exactly, that is exactly where you'll be going. What a prick. I can't believe it. Is this the end for us? Is an apology what you want? I'll apologize all you want, so please. I'm sorry, Stefan. I'm sorry, dear. Uh, forgive me for my stupidity. Good job outing yourself, you shady bastard. <laughs> I hope it's dead. <laughs> to one bullet. You sure didn't expect you to have an artifact, though. Where'd you get your hands on that thing? The, who who are you? Who are you? I know. I know you. You were at the ceremony earlier. You got us. We're Arkride Solutions, then the son of one of the fine gents asked us to come investigate you. You're looking at me, then Stefan sent you? Indeed, he wanted to know if you were safe and nothing more. However, now that we know you are in danger, we cannot turn a blind eye. Move behind us, everyone. M right. You should know that we also recorded what you said earlier. I was disgusted by what I heard, too. You talk of good deeds, and yet it's all just a scheme to make you money. If that wasn't bad enough, now you're treating their lives like playthings. What are you even trying to do? You just said it yourself. All I care about is getting rich. All I have to do is was dream up a plausible sounding church and flex my acting chops a little, and the mirror just flowed right in. But why... Why murder people who are not getting you enough money? Like, what is that gonna do? Just let them follow you and get more people who do get- What? What? 
I stumbled onto this artifact by complete coincidence, but it lets me get rid of anyone who stands in my way, uh, so I'm more than happy to keep using it. Th they were not standing in his way. I guess the other two? The other two called the police. But why get rid of Walton? How do what did Walton do? I can't picture a better enterprise than this one. It's a clever little operation you got going on here. Too bad it turns my stomach just thinking about it. Well, you're free to think what you want because you'll be carrying those feelings to the grave in a few minutes. Hey, go forth, Divine Messenger. You will be punishing them first. Come on, we're taking this thing down. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Now's it's, a good time to boost. I mean, calling it Tiamat is sweet, though. That's a pretty, no pretty cool name. I doubt this thing's gonna be hard. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna play this the fast and and rough shot, way. I guess. Um, everyone's got 200. Let's party. Yeah, screw it. Uh, you give us a shield in case it hits, and then we're just gonna do this. No! Oh, I was hoping I could like. Oh, that was just the shield. Counterattack. I was hoping I could get a second one to steal the crit there, but I would. I wouldn't have stunned it anyway. All right, what are you weak to? Earth. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's pretty painful, honestly. I won't hold back. Okay, um Yeah, get that out. I do have enough. Fairy Fairy is 200 200 K, right? Oh, I can't call Fairy right now? Oh, never mind. Alright, well. Eat this! Oh, right. We have seen this on. Right, right. Yeah, no, I'm skipping Tyrant Storm from now on. Oh, <laughs> my oh, eye. On, yes. Here goes. Okay, I can only get one off for her, but maybe she'll get 40 CP by then. Activate your skill. Boost gauge limiter removed. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you're too far away to... I just want to get another one out here. You're, you're too far away to give her food anyway, yeah. D just attack then. Alright. Oh, now you're stunned? Oh, that sucks. Alright. Anyas, can you get a cast out? Pull out all the stops. Nah, he'd get back up by then. All right, do do that then. Yeah, that was worth it. That was quite a bit of damage. All right, get behind and do your your fancy. Oh, I don't have CP. Yeah. Up to you, reset. Hmm. Energy output max. <laughs> oh, are you sealed? Oh, nightmare. I see. All right, she's not gonna be able to do anything. I don't. Th I'm gonna defend to get my turn back faster. That's not that bad. I'll take you on. And then you stand right here. Right. Oh, there we go. I won't let this chance slip by. And now she's <laughs> good. Energy output max. Back Damn, 3k. Uh, uh, it's go time! Activate there we go. Boost gauge Here limit goes. crushed. Activating out. It's here. super dead. Boost gauge limit crushed. That thing was actually decent for, you know, a side quest enemy. Decent, decent health pool. 
kind of painful. Uh, no, are you all right, father? Y yes, I'm fine. I just never imagined that my pet would be defeated. Ooh, now we can finally talk for real. That was a fun fight, but it's time to admit you lost, father fraudster. Never. As long as I have this flute, I'll never lose. Get back up. You still haven't, haven't wiped the floor with them yet. For me. What does that sound? Is it from the ceiling or the flute? I think it was both. That's bad. They're both at their limit. If he blows the flute again, it's gonna break and the monster's gonna go berserk. I'm just gonna make the crack in the ceiling even bigger and that bring the entire thing down. Should I finish off the monster before that can happen? Or try and warn our... <laughs> Con man priest, even if he's probably not gonna listen. Okay. Um, chaos and gray for sure. Well, gray, chaos for sure. If I was taking those into consideration, which I kinda am, I kinda want I kinda want the chaos. Also, th this guy's probably killed multiple people. And and like he said, he's probably n not going to listen anyway. So, I think no matter what happens, this guy dies right here. Actually, maybe not. Killing the monster might actually make it so that we can arrest him. Because he'll live, and the monster won't destroy the ceiling. Sure. Got no time to stress over this. I'm just going to have to finish the monster. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, didn't matter. Ooh. N no. How could this happen? Ah. No. It's all for more, huh? It's more formidable than I thought. Duh, we're short on time here. What do you mean? Get the other guys out of the room. Well, I'll handle the monster on my own. Understood. Then please be careful. Here I go. Hope this works. I'll take you on. What? Okay. I did say kill the monster. I wasn't expecting you to have to fight alone. 10,000? I could probably do 10,000. I have one, one turn of insight that's going to fall off here. I'm gonna need Corona Drive. 800? Here goes. All right, I'm also going to give myself damage up. There. Okay. Pay for that. Here goes. Okay, I'd have to do that 11 times. Tw 12 times. Wait, how much did I do? Oh, no, no, I'd have to do that like 25 times. What am I talking about? Probably get a regen because this is gonna this is gonna take a minute. Here goes. I mean, if I do a thousand every turn, that'd be good. But he's also doing a thousand every turn. You'll pay for that. No, just keep hitting him. Ooh. You'll pay for that. Okay, I am blinded. Great. Well, I can use this chance to use arts. Okay. Eat this. Skip. Three thousand. Okay, that's better. Uh, I can only do that once, though. I am out of. Great. This will hurt. Damage down. Take that. Take this. <laughs> You'll pay for that. All right. Oh, I gotta. Ooh. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> oh, thank God that was only ten thousand. That could have been bad if it was more than ten thousand health. <sighs> Whoa, that was a close one. I don't think the ceiling will hold much longer either way, though. Uh, so I should, I'd still better hurry on out of here. 
I can't believe this is happening. I was supposed to be invincible as long as I had the flute. <sighs> I almost forgot about you. Fine. I'll drag you out of here too. Okay, Van let him live. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? I had no idea that the ceiling was about to collapse. I'm amazed you realized, Van. More than anything, I'm just glad that everyone is all right. I couldn't agree more. Regardless, we're going to need to take this con man in probes into custody. Should we hand him over to the police when we get to the back to the surface? It seems a bit much for us to handle on our own. Yeah, I think that's the best plan. As for you, we've got somewhere else to take you. Oh? Uh, does that mean... I'm so glad you're okay, Dad. Uh, you look like you've lost a bit of weight since I last saw you, though. <laughs> Maybe I did. I'm so sorry for worrying you, son. I was just so desperate to get our family back together. The church gave me hope that I might, and I foolishly clung to it. After everything, I was led astray again. I'm so ashamed. I still have work to do to be the man I want to be. If anything, it's good to see you being so honest with yourself. Uh, don't worry, I'll be there to support you through it all, Dad. Uh, we'll improve together, no matter how long it takes. Oh, Stefan, uh, thank you. It's nice, so nice seeing a happy ending. I really can't thank you enough. Nor can I. I shudder to think what could have happened if you hadn't come in to help when you did. Thank you so, so much. Don't mention it, just doing my job. The guru and his accomplices have been arrested. I'm certain that it's only a matter of time before the police dismantles the church itself. And the police said they would help with the care of anyone that, mm, feeling the shock of the events that just happened. Now you can uh, keep your head low. Make sure you don't screw up that bad again. Oh, of course, you've got my word on that. Well, I think it's time we let you get back to work. One more, Once more, thank you. And take care. Sure, same to you. That's a wrap. It was an interesting quest. I. Damn it, Law. What? What? What about my decisions made me get towards Law? Okay, killing the monster might have been that decision. If I warned him. If I warned him, it probably would have been like, oh, he's probably not gonna listen. Oh no, look out. And then and then we would have just left him to die. Killing the monster guaranteed that the ceiling didn't drop right away, maybe? Which is lawful or something. Your cipher's ringing, Van. Oh, I know. So it is. I swear I've seen this number before. What's up, Arkride? Heard you had a bad time in Tharbad. No. I, I, that's, that's not Dogie. Ah, what do you mean, not you? You're gonna make me cry. Can you blame me for being wary? You people are always hovering over, hovering over me and judging how I choose to handle my work. I forgot to say, ugh, not you. <laughs> Plus, I have a sinking feeling you're the only calling to bring trouble to my doorstep again. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, this job's a toughie for sure. I'll cut to the chase. Would you mind coming with me to the 13th? Hmm. The 13th. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for uh, what, what that means. You strike me as the kind of guy who'd drop by uh, there a lot. No comment. I'm curious, what business do you have there? Oh, nothing major. It's, but it's not exactly a place I fit in, especially as of late. So I figured I'd ask if you could tag along. Come on, help a guy out, will ya? What the hell is the 13th? Alright, you win. You owe me one after this, though. You wanna meet up in the C3 area? A sure thing. Oh, and don't feel like you need to rush if you got other business. I can keep myself busy while I wait. Um, so that's the famous Jin the Immovable. What the hell did he want? Oh, nothing much. Don't worry about it. This will head over once I wrapped up my other work. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, choose call it a day to end? Definitely not yet. What is the 13th? Okay, we have we have second, fourth, seventh, sixth, eighth. What districts have we not seen? Uh, Aramis Academy is clearly its own district. The outskirts also has the motocross radar, racetrack, which is its own district. But that they're making it sound like the 13th is very dangerous or something. I don't think they've ever discussed a 13th yet. No, well, we'll find out. Uh, right. Well, we have uh, we have other things to do, of course. Uh, speaking of that, um, let me go heal up. I'm right. On my way. We have one monster to fight, which was not where I thought it was going to be. Oh. Well, I guess I got to healed up there, but I, I used the bath. Just skip past all these guys. Oh, oh God. Wait, the reception. <laughs> oh, hey. Here's some fro. Kill him. These are going to be weak to arts, for sure. Those are massive. Holy. You can't hide anything from us. Oh, good. They're weak to uh, Thanatos Jail. Do I have a arts damage up? There we go. A chance for a shot boost. Cobalt Curtain. Cobalt Curtain. Activate I don't know if you now have anything I want to boost. Impede, mute, seal, ceiling won't. They, these are casters usually, but I, I still feel like I should try to go for a seal. But that's single target, so I don't, I don't think that's really worth it. Yeah, try to seal with this. All right, now make sure Van goes next. Yeah. You know what? We'll do this as well. Damn it! My Ooh. move now. Brace yourself. Here goes. Ooh, that was a lot. Brace yourself. Okay, they're in half. No, you don't. I don't have more yet. All you on yet? You know, if I. No, I can't hit hers until I have two. Damn. God damn this ceiling beam. I won't let this chance slip by. Okay, they're all like half health right now. And okay, we just got that, so double. Boost gauge limiter removed. She doesn't have 200 CP? Oh. Right there. Activating skill. There we go. You just annihilated these guys. Holy shit. That's how it goes. 40. Stats upgraded. Quartet. And that was the last side quest. Ooh, please go to three. Come on. You got this. It didn't go to three. And we got another free time point. Okay, so we can do four of five. Then let's head over. So next, let's turn in the quests. <laughs> Those are impressive results. Then I'll update your rank. All right, C plus plus. I'll gladly take that. Fifteen CP every turn. Ooh. Okay. Um. <laughs> He's already got CP up plus 30%, so if I throw that on here as well... Well, he's not going to be resistant to anything, but I kind of think he should have this. Yeah, I actually... Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna give him that instead of that. Anius, I need her to be able to heal. As often as possible, because it's so OP, her, her white heal thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. So giving her 30% more CP might just be great. What was that new thing? EP60 and fear? Oh, yeah. Not, not really a big deal to put on right now. I haven't looked at these in a while. I've been, like, putting them off. I think I think we're all good. I can't justify putting that on. Okay, so that is everything there. We haven't got any new food, so. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do the movie and then I'll do the free time. So Tyrell Cinema. What are we waiting for? I do need to save though, because we have two movies to watch. Alright, done. Um yeah, perfect driver. How many tickets? Um I I guess we can take two people, so I'm not gonna keep this one, so this doesn't really matter. I think we're gonna keep the other one. The whatever it's called, memory something. Rosette. Actually, no. No, hold on. I'm going to for sure take Rosette and Anya's to the movie I'm keeping. So let's take Fairy and Aaron to this one. Ben decided to let everyone lose so he could watch a movie. After inviting some company, they made their way to the theater. Philip, a young fledgling Z1 race car driver, is the son of Louis Adler, the legendary racer. Tormented by the crushing weight of his father's legacy, Philip rebels against him, shattering the bond they held in the process. Shortly thereafter, Louis gets into an accident and perishes on the spot. With little time to process the untimely death of his father, Philip is thrust into the Grand Prix, his focus fractured and his will dwindling. But then in the final lap of the race, when all hope of victory it was nearly lost, the words of his father echo in Philip's mind. The thing you gotta aim for ain't the finish line. You're gonna have to think way beyond that. If you want to be a legend, set your sights on a goal to call your own, then speed past it. Unbelievable! Philip's taken the lead! He's past last year's champion, Max. Look at that little Lino of his go. Something's really lit a fire in him. Nothing's gonna stop him now. <laughs> that little punk didn't even spare me a second thought. Who on earth is that kid racing here? I found it, Dad. I found my goal beyond the finish line. I just wish I could have found it while you were still here. I'm going to leave you in the dust, Lewis Adler. I won't stop racing until I override every legendary record you ever set. Seems like a, a decently interesting movie to watch. Kind of predictable. <laughs> Seen that story a few times. Not with racing, but... I felt kind of sad watching that movie, to be honest. I guess having such an amazing dad isn't always so easy. It definitely didn't like, look like how things were are between you and your dad, that's for sure. You don't feel any kind of pressure, even a little. I'm sure the adults among the warriors must have had high expectations for you. Hmm, I don't know. I don't really think there is. My dad is like my guidepost. He teaches me so much. I want to be someone like him when I grow up. Gotcha. Uh, knowing what t I do about the two of you, I can see how you'd feel that way. Maybe if Philip was more dedicated like you are, things would have turned out a lot differently for him in that movie. Uh, sons definitely tend to have a different kind of relationship with their dads compared to their moms. And they really shouldn't try to force themselves to be all buddy-buddy if it isn't doesn't come natural to them. Come to them naturally, if you ask me. You know, speaking of dads, I don't know if I've ever heard much about yours. That's because I never knew the guy, and Kian was much more of a grandfather to me. Just goes to show that you don't need a dad in your life to make life work, I guess. 
Huh, kind of a deep thought for you. I guess you do have a brain somewhere in that head of yours. Ah, shut up. <laughs> hey, looks like they're selling commemorative brochures, etc. I mean, we'll look at it. Yeah, I don't know. I. It sucks that I have to, like, balance the points, but Anya's I for sure want to max out, and Rosette we have no points with, so definitely saving those two. Oh, yeah. See, we've already seen Golden Blood on this file, too, so definitely don't need to keep it. A human drama that explores the love and struggle between a young Z1 racer and his famous father. Philip's rebelliousness causes a falling out between him and his father, a legendary racer of the past named Lewis Albert Granger. Uh, before they patch things up, Lewis uh, tragically dis d dies in a sudden accident. Philip, now wrestling with regret, speeds ever onward towards the next race. All right, next movie. All right, so according to that little girl over there who's too scared to go into the theater, Midnight Memories must be a horror movie. Uh, she won't admit it. She didn't say she was scared, but Anya's... Reset. Good, the mic is still working. <laughs> Got the panic. Van decides to let everyone loose. After inviting the company, they went to the theater. Three high schooler school girl. Wait. Three high schoolers sneak into an old mansion, looking to use it for as a setting for their independent horror film. Lance is the star actor, Joshua is the cameraman, and Emily is the screenwriter. Each dutifully fulfills their roles, and the filming progresses without incident. However, a strange phenomenon occurs as they begin shooting the final scenes. <sighs> for real? Is it just me, or has the lighting been acting up for a bit? Has it? I don't know. It was working fine this morning. Whoa! The lights went out! Hey, come on! I can't see a thing! Get those lights back! <laughs> Lance? <sighs> huh? Emily? Is that you? <sighs> Blood! Hey! Emily! Something happened to Le- Come play with me, Joshua. Damn. Okay. Okay. That might be a mo- that, that looked like Fatal Frame. <laughs> might be a movie that I could see myself watching. More so than the driving one. Although, those usually end up being pretty bad, you know, B-quality movie some of them are great though regardless if they're really bad bad is great sometimes that was very entertaining i've never seen a horror film before this i can understand now why someone would go out of their way to subject themselves to such fear i imagine it becoming addicting you seem to handle that movie like a trooper though not that i expected anything else from the likes of you oh man we should have taken fairy just for the dialogue Perhaps, but I certainly still feel felt my heart race as I was watching it. Perhaps next time I watch such a film, I'll do so at night. I'm sure that must add to the ambience. Ambience. Uh, Anya's, are you, you doing okay? What, what, what do you mean? I'm, I'm perfectly fine, really. I had you there next to me the whole time. What more could I have needed to feel safe? Sure, it got my heart r really pounding and uh, blood racing, but other than that, I'm... I'm... Anyas! Anyas, wake up! Anyas! After being carried to the doctor's office and taking a brief rest, Anyas came back to her senses. And fully recovered, good as new. Looks like they're selling brochures. <laughs> really? Okay, we learned something new about Anyas there. Ooh, you got a ways to go. Hmm. Three high schoolers sneak into an old mansion late at night to film their own found footage horror movie. Everything's going smoothly until the climax of their film, when the real horror begins. Okay, 
I'm gonna save this, but I also need to check something. I just want to know. Ah, there's nothing scarier than an enemy you can't even see. Uh, they're so tough to deal with. You can't ambush them, and you can't do any diversions either. It sucks. That's what you were thinking about the whole time? Just to be clear, you do understand it was all made up, right? None of that was real. So, I gotta be prepared in case we ever encounter any ghosts. Who knows when or where we might find one. But don't worry, Van. If that ever happens, I'll protect you. You and everybody else, okay? Uh, okay. Appreciate you watching our backs, Fairy. <laughs> Guess I'll take this over her coming out of it super spooked, at least. You know, at first I thought it was just gonna be some low-budget B-grade schlock. But that was actually pretty damn entertaining. Emily's face when she got all po possessed was, it was messed up. Yeah, that scene was definitely a shocker. Tell me something, Aaron. If you knew, if someone you knew wound up like her, what would you do? I'd try to save them. But if that didn't wouldn't work, then I'd put them out of their misery. It'd suck, but it'd be the best thing for them. Better than letting them suffer. It's about what I figured you'd say, yeah. Can't say I'm terribly surprised. Yeah, well, sorry I'm so predictable, I guess. What do you want? Okay, that was worth it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload, but... I wanted to know how Fairy would react. Surprisingly, Agnes is the most scared of scary movies. I thought it would be Fairy, but no, it's Agnes. Okay. All right. And with that, we have to do the free time quick. And we can only save four of these. And just thinking about all the connection levels that I have here and could get, yeah, I think Ashen's Ash got to be the one I abandon. I can only have four of these, and like, I want Ren's. I want to know more about Ren, no matter. I like. I want to know about Ashen as well, but out of all these characters, I would reload hers first. So let's see this one, reload, and then do the other four. Grand tour of Edith. Van's group decided to take a short break. Everyone split up so they could spend their free time as they pleased. Uh, Ni Hao, Van. Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> you okay with giving me a, a little tour, right? So first, I was thinking, well, pump the brakes a sec. I had a quick question for you, if you don't mind. You picked a weird-ass time to visit Edith. What's the itinerary? I doubt you're here on your own. Yeah, Baba's on a business trip here, so I decided to take along. Uh, though, I do have some business of my own, if I'm being honest. Right, that's sketchy business, uh, uh, if I had to guess. Doubt your old man's negotiating baking sales. Well, you're not wrong. It's got a few of our companies work together to figure out a plan for you-know-who. Sal came along as well, but he's... Well, I'm not sure where he is, exact. actually. Real shame, honestly. This is a wonderful chance to ha for a date. White Orchid Dragon's up to something, huh? I don't like the smell of that. Well, anyway, I still have a while before the meeting, so I figured, why not take a walk around? Baba's not uh, busy getting ready for ever with the attendees, so I have nothing else to do. You know Edith like the back of your hand, don't you? I mean, yeah, but can't Aaron do it? Might as well ask him. I did, he, but he canceled out of nowhere, the jerk. He didn't even call me, he texted. Can you ima uh, believe that? He just texted me, something came up, go ask the old man if he'll do it. He hasn't changed a bit, I swear. That little shit. Come on, Van, please, for me. It's been so long since I last visited Edith. There's so much to see, so many souvenirs to buy. It'll be a favor hey away owes you for you owes you for. Come on, please. I, mean, I really isn't gonna care about. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll show you around a bit. We'll call it an apology for how that job thing went down. Yay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, which one of these do you think would look good on Sao? You're really thinking about him instead? You, I thought this was a tour for you. No, don't be such a killjoy. Sal and I are in Edith together for the very first time. This is a perfect chance to deepen our bond. 
Hmm, should I pick out a matching piece for myself now that I think about it? I think that's a good idea. I can just hear him now. Ah, we match, I see. <laughs> and then he'll get all flustered and- Oh! Lady, your mind works in strange ways. She is obsessed with him. Hmm, I wonder what kind of gift he'd like. Remiferia is cold all around this time of year, so maybe I should get him a pair of gloves, or perhaps a scarf. Is this for your little brother? He's studying in Remiferia right now, ain't he? That's right, after all the troubling crossbelly a year and a half ago, he decided to study abroad. I'm going to broaden my horizons were his words, as I recall. He, his experience over there must have been eye-opening. Heh, <laughs> seems like you're proud of the kid. I am, but he could stand to be less cheeky, and I wish he wouldn't fall head over heels for girls who are way out of his age range. That'll never happen. Looking to buy that for Gian? Yeah, he's a bit of a soba addict. According to him, nothing beats it when you're tucker tuckered out. Sounds like he's been busy as a bee. He does a lot of advising these days. Guess that screw up his... Wait, guess that screw up of his didn't shake his standing in Hayway all that much. I'd suggest buying flour from Cray. Soba fans love that stuff. Uh, so if you give him that, he'll be in seventh heaven. Oh, really now? Well, I think I'll trust your advice and try... Go with that then. Well, I got some time to kill. What to do? Hmm. Maybe I'll stop by for a bit of booze while the sun's still up. And then some cuties for when it goes down. So this is where you've been, Aaron. You look awfully relaxed for someone who just ditched all responsibility on me. <laughs> That's a good shot. Why are you here? It's not that hard to guess what you you get up to. How come you canceled on me last minute? You haven't been causing trouble for everyone, right? I so know you messed up your sleeping schedule again, and I bet your diet's not far off. Ah, oh, no, you did not just come all the way, all this way to have her nag at me. You were asking for it. <laughs> Van and Ashen took Aaron around town, having him serve as her tour guide for the day. After ending their tour at Tryon Tower, they returned to the Sidon District. Ah, that was fun. I got to buy a ton of stuff. I got to see all the sights, everything. It was really something seeing that tower up close. It gives the Great Spire a run for its money. Mira. Not sure those are really in the same category, but fair enough. Hey. Oh, don't worry about them. I'm perfectly aware of them. I assume you're here on Lou family business. You're quite a ways from Longport, though. It seems everybody's traveling on business these days. I'd expect no less of you, Lady Ashen? Ashen? Oh, of course. <sighs> Shang Shou, huh? Not from the Lou family, are, are they? Indeed not. They seem to be... Though they seem awfully casual for Shang Cho, normally they try to hide their presence. So this is the message being sent here that a Shang Cho doesn't even need to try in order to keep tabs on little old me. I think you're mistaken, Lady Ashen. Ashen. <laughs> My master simply wishes to banish these clouds looming over Heiwei, that we might shine brighter. It's really impressive how you can say that with a straight face. You really think your master's looking uh, to resolve all this peacefully? That just doesn't sound right, does it? Now, obviously I'm not going to pick a fight with you, at least not in public. But if, and that's a big if, your boss thinks he can get the better of us, then the Lu family will accept your challenge anytime. Hmm. Lou will let him know. Alright, let's head back now. Okay, wait, give me a second to process all that. Anyway's own little princess, huh? Apple doesn't fall far from the tree there. Remind me not to piss you off. I like having my head on my neck. It's scary to think what would have happened if I turned you down. How rude. I wouldn't have done anything, probably. I do value our friendship, fam, and I'd like to keep it that way. 
I really owe you both. Both for Longport and for keeping Aaron safe. I mean it. Oh, I know. I was just messing with you. But what were you talking about back there? It sounded like some kind of turf war business. No, that was just just some shadows sneaking around, and it's nothing to worry about. Baba might have told you, but Heiwei is split between several groups and families. Sometimes we have to tie lo those loose ends back up ourselves. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's what Yeyes always said. Okay, let's head back. I should let Baba know what happened. Do you want to see him? He should be back now, and I think he might want to thank you for today. I'm good, thanks. That's kind of like asking me to walk into a minefield. No offense. Hey, come on. Don't antagonize us like that. Ashen eventually got Van to reconsider. Re read. Read, comply, and ex reconsider. Read, comply. What does that mean? And exchange pleasantries with her father. Okay. Despite being worn out from this encounter, Van met with the rest of the gang and went right back to work. This is one relationship I'll cherish. For Heiyue, as much as anything else. That's that's her entire thing? <gasps> and you got an item for it? Oh, no. I mean, if I have an abundance of points... Uh, wait, no, no. It doesn't matter who I go on. What did you give me? Oh, I mean, that's a lot of ADF, but at the same time, like, that might be our only time to hang out with her, if that's the case. We got enough points to max her out, and that might be the only time, which makes me think that, well, you obviously can't, you can't max everyone out, probably. I may save this, but I don't know. Let me just see it, if there's other opportunities. All right, well, I didn't really want to go into spoiler, looking looking into possible spoilery territory. And the only thing I could find without delving too deep is that uh, this was her only event. And I don't know if I'll be able to give her gifts uh, to get, get it maxed out. Then again, New Game Plus exists and you can continue on from there. So we saw the event. And I don't care about the, the item that much. I would rather guarantee that all the other people get maxed out. So I'm going to reload. There we go. That was a hard decision. It took a bit. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do the other four and save them. I am sorry, Ashen. It was a good event. But that was her only event, so. Endless paperwork. Man's group took a break. Everyone split up. Is the mic still working? Good. Hey, you said you wanted to talk about some pa office paperwork? Correct. In the course of organizing everything, I found some forms whose deadlines are quickly approaching. I thought you should be made aware of them so that you they aren't submitted late. Ah, shit. Yeah, I don't want to fall behind on those. Which forms are they? Actually, I went ahead and sorted them out for you already. All you have to do is fill them in. Perfect. Thanks, Rosette. I'm gonna take care of those right now so they're not hanging over our head. Van quickly dealt with the paperwork Rosette had provided. He packed it up and made it for the Sidon District Police Station. Man, I can't believe I spaced out on this. I completely forgot today was the cutoff. Right, this whole customization form thing. They just rolled that out, if I recall. Correct. The government is inspecting customized automobiles to ensure they are not hazardous to public safety. Failing to submit this form will void your tax exemption and other credits. Your car will effectively be illegal. Smaller customizations can, be, can use a separate form from this one. Yeah, this one's probably their way of preparing for the like. For like... Engine swapping and lift kits and shit. I got the paperwork a while ago, but I kept putting it off. It looked like a pain in the ass. Really saved my bacon, getting this stuff sorted for me. Of course, this these clerical affairs are my forte. So we get this dealt with then. Ah, crap. Hmm. Fancy meeting you here. 
And because I want to be here, trust me. Oh, uh -huh, finally decided to come clean, huh? About damn time. Come clean for what, jackass? I'm just here to turn in some paperwork for my truck mods. Huh, I saw that young lady with you in Tharbad. Thank you for your uh, help back then. My name is Rosette Twinings. I'm a concierge for the Marduk Company. I'm currently assisting Mr. Arkwright on official business. Official? How do you keep fumbling your way into a harem, dick? Marduk, huh? Hey, you mi mind if I pull you aside for some questions, miss? I'll take care of the paperwork for you. Uh-oh. Ugh, thought they were never gonna let us go. You have any idea how that they were gonna do that to you when you got to the pre precinct? I did know that they wanted to question me. I figured that I might as well accompany you and get it over with. But that's neither here nor there. Good work getting your form filled out. And that's most of your paperwork done for today. Thanks. Wait, most? What's next? Oh, nothing major. Just your taxes. <laughs> And while we're at it, I did want to run some equipment maintenance and re office resupplies by you. Man, I almost feel bad putting you to work this hard after you just joined. Almost. Let's go ahead and tackle all that while we're at it. Perfect. Our next destination is Station Street, then. Ben accompanied Rosette as they navigated the busy work for the day. After a round of shopping on Station Street, they took a break at a nearby cafe. Thanks for all your hard work, Reset. You got through all that desk work that was piling up like it was nothing. I feel kind of bad for forcing you to do all the tedious jobs, though. Please, think nothing of it. I'm always happy to be of service. I'm nothing if not pleased to have been able to ass be of assistance in your office. We'd never been able to interact through anything other than a screen beforehand. But now I get to go out shopping and have a nice chat with you physically here. Weird way of putting it, but I see where you're coming from. Here's the coffee you ordered. Oh, speaking of orders, I wasn't aware prior to me coming here and accompanying you on your travels just how bad your sweet tooth is. Just wanted to make it clear that sweets aren't the only reason I've been going we've been going on so many business trips lately. More of a bonus, yeah? It's gonna be... It's, it'd be rude going somewhere and not sampling the local confectionery. <laughs> if you say so. And you totally didn't buy that. <sighs> well, whatever, let's drink. Hmm? This is rather hotter than I was expecting. Holy shit! This is way too hot. Did a rookie screw up or something? Though yours doesn't look as hot as mine. We can't be so sure of that. Our difference in reaction should not be how you gauge it. I handle hot things better than most do. I still think it would be wise to get some milk to cool it down, though. Excuse me. Tell me and my friends handle, uh, coffee. I... Hot. Hot as hell. Fine with me. Them? It, burning tongue, screaming. They're like, oh my god, I'm putting this in the fridge. And I'm like, what? What? I just can't figure it out. And they called a member of the staff over and explained the situation. The staff apologized profusely for the issue and added some milk, as requested to cool down the drinks. We're truly sorry for the issue with your coffee. Uh, here's the pancakes you ordered as well. Oh, oh, I'm already hungry. Oh, I don't recall ordering any pancakes. Was it you who ordered them, Mr. Arkwright? If so, let me hand you the plate. Nope, it's right where it needs to be. Just think of them as a little bonus. Small thanks for all you've done for us, even in such a short time. There's more to life than just work. You should at least find the time to enjoy something sweet once in a while. <laughs> Thank you very much. I wasn't expecting to get such a pleasant bonus so soon after starting work. I can see this is a workplace that values its employees after all. Doubt we can compare to whatever crazy welfare program Marduk has, but we try. It's good to have you on the team, Rosette. And it is likewise my pleasure to be being part of the team, Mr. Arkwright. Though it'd feel awfully rude to sit and enjoy this plate of pancakes while you just sit there and watch. You're the one with a sweet tooth, after all. Why don't you have some, too? I'm kind of regretting not ordering any for myself, yeah. 
All right, if you're sure. I wouldn't mind a few. Mm-mm. Payne and Rosette enjoyed the remainder of their time together before resuming patrol. You have my full support and then some, Mr. Arkwright. All right. That was sweet. Uh, Van is definitely a good employer. But, Van, what are you doing? Only eat sweets once per day. It's part of your five laws. You're going to limit it to the pancakes midday? What if a better sweet comes along? He can't break his, his law. So if a better sweet comes along later today, he's screwed. He can't, he can't have it. I'd wait till the end of the day to eat sweets. Well, that's not a great idea. <laughs> that's a terrible idea. All right, Judith. Uh, film review books hitting the shelf. Scope out a store? Oh, it's not like she called us and said, I need to talk to you. We're just gonna run into her. Van decided to pay a visit to the bookstore and browse their selection section on films. Damn, this publisher works fast. Already got something out about the Tharbad Film Festival. Let's see what it says about. Yeah, yep, they're definitely there and watching the entrance. Entrance. Check it out! Another special on Nina Fenley. That chick's on a roll lately. I mean, why wouldn't she be? She stole Judith Lanster's crown as best actress at the festival. She's got to be the hottest actress in Zamiria right now. I guess it's now Nina's time to be in the spotlight. Not that I'll stop liking Judith or anything, of course, but you know what I mean. Hell yeah, man. No one keeps in the action sexy like her. Hey, is that who I think it is? Oh my god, she's so incognito. So inco- Okay, no time to waste. Time to watch another- You're watching the same movie again? That's gotta be the third time now. <laughs> huh? Wh what the heck? What are you doing here? What am I doing? What are you doing here? C come into this theater and watching your own movie over and over again. Uh, don't you think that's kinda- Sh Shush, uh, don't you say another word. This isn't a good place to talk. Follow me. <laughs> Phew. All right, the coast is clear. Are you out of your mind? Do you know what would have happened if people in that theater knew I was there? It'd be chaos. Your hair is doing something crazy going through your arm right now. Hey, you're the one who blared your horn. I was trying to keep my voice down so only you could hear me. If people were going to notice you, it wouldn't have been because of me. Well... You still... Anyway, you didn't answer my question. Why all the repeat viewings of your own movies? You that much of a narcissist? Uh, who said I was a narcissist? It's nothing like that. Look, I get it. We all go through that phase at some point in our lives. It's perfectly normal for you to get a kick out of how hot you look in the mirror when you're going through puberty. I never... What? Is that a thing? Oh, I thought you were a little old for that, though. I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. And what do you mean, old? I'm younger than you. I'll take your word for it, then. So, what is it you're doing? Some kind of weird hobby? It's not a hobby. I didn't come here to watch the movie. I came here to watch the audience. The audience? Like what? To bask in their adoration as they watch you strut your stuff? Well, damn, girl. You're even more, you're an even bigger narcissist than I thought. Gotta hand it to you, it takes a special kind of person to go to that much trouble to have their ego ma massaged. Props. Now you're just trying to piss me off, aren't you? You figured it out already, and Nero was hoping I'd get a couple more cell shot of that. You could at least pretend to be a little sorry. Ugh, I swear, talking to you is bad for my mental health. Okay, real talk. I'm guessing you're here to gauge the audience's reaction to your work? Yeah, more or less. Although, I'm mostly looking for s some specific things. When I come to the screen, I pay attention to how often the people around me are reacting. Where they laugh, where they cry, where they're let down, stuff like that. Gives me a good barometer of how well my acting is landing with people, so I can see where I maybe need to improve going forward. You don't say. I didn't realize you did so much homework between shoots. 
I don't do it just to study their reactions either. I also do it to put things into perspective for myself. I guess he'd put it. Not sure I follow. When I'm filming something, obviously I like to think that the final product is going to come out just like the director and I intended. But audiences don't always see what we see in the same way. They might hate something you felt confident about, or they'll love something you didn't put all that much work into. Some people might chalk it up to just differences in taste or as perspective, but that feels like just such a waste when there's so much you can learn. Unlike what you might think, we don't make movies just to satisfy ourselves. We want audiences to be moved, maybe even be inspired by them. You can't improve your craft as a, an actor unless you take the time to sit down and figure out where your, you and your audience don't see eye to eye. At least that's what I sincerely feel. Huh. You put more thought into your work than I expected. I just figured you were just riding the wave of your success all the way to the bank. Idios, you sound just like my mom and Crammy. What on earth makes you think I'm anything like that? I was trying to give you a compliment, I swear. Interesting to know your family gives you the same sort of grief, though. Eh, <sighs> pretend you didn't hear that. Also, I'm impressed that you can discern people's faces so much inside a dark movie theater. Is that one of the perks from your side hustle? It gives you cat vision at night? No, it's not because of the... I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Who does this woman think she's fooling? Is this sort of field research something you've always done since becoming an actress? I used to do it a lot back in the day, but the last two years or three years, not so much. These days, as soon as I wrap up one film, it's immediately onto the next shoot. Between that and my other occupation, I hardly have any time, th time for it now. But you had some free time for once and decided to do it for old time's sake? Had it, more, more like I had to make it for myself. I had to turn down every offer for shooting and interviews in order to make this happen. No kidding. That determined, huh? It's not just that I missed it and wanted to do it. The festival made me realize I need to start stepping up my game. Because you had a, the award for best actress taken from under your nose. Pretty much. Nina has such incredible talent for an actress her age. I knew she might catch up to me sooner or later, but I didn't remotely expect it to happen this soon. I get that out, how that might be a shock to you, but it's just one film festival. You really need to be so hung up on the results. Your winning the award doesn't take away from the caliber of your own acting. Golden Blood and Wolf's Requiem are both huge, incredibly entertaining films. Most reviews had them neck and neck when it came to the quality of their acting and the sheer level of polish. And I appreciate the pep talk, but I don't want to give myself excuses for what happened. At the end of the day, I lost out. Those are the facts, plain and simple. If I don't always knock audiences and judges off their feet with my acting, then I'm not doing my, the absolute best I can. Spoken like a true actress who's earned her spot as the queen of the industry. When I first got to see her, or the real her, I thought I'd regret ever being a fan. But maybe I don't have anything to worry about after all. You got something else you want to say to me, hmm? Anyway, not to get off topic, but how did you see through my disguise in the theater? I know it wasn't the most elaborate thing in the world, but I was pretty confident I wouldn't get caught. I probably only noticed because I heard a couple of guys talking about you right before I saw you. If I hadn't, I doubt I'd have given you the time of day. Really? What were they discussing? Nothing big, just how things went for you at the film festival. And the way they were talking, those awards, or lack of, I guess, don't seem to have done anything to diminish your fan base. I know I still count myself as part of it. Oh, uh, good to know. Mel, don't you worry. Next time a film festival comes rolling around, I'll be standing at the top of that win winner's podium where I belong. Until then, I'm going back to the basics and honing my acting so that it's much better. You'll see. <laughs> good luck with that. I'll be watching. It was good. It was quite a long conversation, but it was good. Is is a lot of stuff we needed out of Judith that we haven't got to know about her, like how she feels and stuff. Afterward, he escorted her to the subway on her way back. Up. What she actually like accepted an escort from him. You know, I I don't think she's actually going to hate Van then. 
I thought forever she was just going to be like, you degenerate. But she seems she seems a little open. From there, he resumed his patrol. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, you your connection to yourself is up. Worldly office head. All right. Um, that is done. Two more. I'm getting a drink after that one, though. That was a very long conversation with no breaks. So, uh, one moment. All right. Elaine and Ren left. A bunch of new movies releasing. Oh, more. <laughs> Maybe I should check out the release. More movie stuff. Sure. They took a break. Everyone split up. Taking a lot of breaks here. Hey there. Not used to seeing you here. Oh, it's you, Van. I'm not here to watch any movies. I was just passing through after receiving a nearby assignment. That explains it. For a second, for a sec, I thought you were slacking off and sneaking into the showing. Just because you have that sort of time on your hands doesn't mean we all do. I happen to be as busy as ever. Hey, I'm plenty busy too, you know. I'm just taking a short break. Anyway, which movie caught your attention? Curious what Beauty's Blade is into these. Sorry, I can't talk anymore. I have to get back to work. H hey, I was just asking. The Mishy everyone loves is hitting the big sc Oh my. Mishy in boots? Coming November. Well, that explains it. Can't say I'm shocked she's a little bashful about it. Nothing wrong with liking Mishy, though. Hmm, I've got an idea. Sometime later. Don't you... Hey, again. Wow, we met twice in one day. What are the chances? What are the chances? You're playing it off like it's a coincidence, but I suspect this it was very much deliberate. I could have rescued you for stalking you now. No, don't be like that. I just wanted to give you something. Here you go. Is this a Mishy plush? Yep, this thing's a merch from, for the Mishy and Boots movie that's coming next month. You can only get it in theaters for a limited time. You have no idea how long I waited in line for that. Why did you go out of your way to do that for me? Well, I figured you wanted one, because you looked like you were dying to see it. I, I don't want to see it that much. But even if I did, that doesn't mean you had to go get this for me. No, oh, that wasn't the only reason. I just happen to remember about that promise I broke all those years ago. Hmm? I know giving you this thing won't fully make up for it. You aren't wrong. Also, did you just refer to Mishy as this thing rude? <laughs> oh, um, sorry about that. Anyway, catch you later. Do it! Oh, flashback? <gasps> so there's a theme park in Crossbell called Michelin Wonderland. Well, that's new. And this is the mascot? We're back? We're back. Hmm? What are you reading there? Looks like mm, some news from Crossbell. Any, anyway, what's that cat-looking thing? Mishy? Looks ugly as hell. Don't be tell me that's... You like that thing. I'm confused as to, like, is this a flashback to childhood or, like, teenage years? I'm gonna go with childhood. Don't tell me you like that thing. I'm allowed to like whatever I want. I'm sorry my tastes aren't up to your standards. <laughs> it's always good to see you two getting along so well. Crossbell is only one station away from the Continental Transcontinental Railroad. Why don't you take part-time jobs so you can take her next year? Don't push me into it. So, um, what are you thinking? If you really want to go, I, uh... Really? You'd take me... I mean, if you really like to take me, then that badly, I suppose I can come along. You just can't be cute, can you? You're one to talk, Mr. Dark and Brooding. <laughs> Thank you, Van. I can hardly wait to go. That seems like teenager years, for sure. 
Does he have any idea how many years it's been since then? I don't know. I kind of wish he would have told me before I went to the flashback, but still, I'm happy he remembered. No. Afterward, he reunited with the others and got back to work. You've always been stubborn as a mule. Although I suppose that's reassuring in its own way. Hmm. Someday. Someday. That that romance is happening. It's gonna happen. He clearly cares. He just can't be with her for some reason. And can't, like, show affection towards her. Although he seems to always have been like that. Although he's much more open to, like, inviting her to stuff back then. Based on that flashback. I don't know. I got an email from, or I got mail from Kitty. Issue around Aramis. Help me handle it. Secret from Agnes. Gotcha. Fans group took a break. Everyone split up. It's good to see you, Spriggan. Thanks for coming by. No problem. I didn't expect to get a request from you of all people, though. What gives? Why don't you want Anyas to know? Oh, I just don't want her to worry for no good reason, that's all. Sure, that's all. Uh, what's the real reason? Because it'll be more fun to take care of it if it's just the two of us. Fun, huh? You have an interesting definition of that. Don't get me wrong, I really don't want to concern Anyas with this either. I'll take your word for it. You said you guys are having some kind of problem in the neighborhood of Armus? Around Armus? Right, in short, we seem to be having some people who are uh, trying to spy on our students as of late. Not something you really want to hear. Uh, have you talked to the police or guild? No, not yet. My source for this information isn't the kind of I'd rather share with the police in particular. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I won't stick my nose where it isn't wanted either, then. If we're talking about kids being spied on here, then conventional wisdom would suggest these people are sco scoping them out to kidnap them later. Wouldn't be all that surprising, considering how many kids there come from money. Even so, with the sort of security that campus has got, they've got their work cut out, out for them. They do, but the, but the signs are there, nevertheless. Plus, these people don't have to the, strike on campus to cause trouble. Once the students leave campus, they're out of the security guard's orbit. Right, which is exactly what they'll be doing sooner rather than later. I see where this is going. Exactly. Our big trip coming up puts me in a real bind. With the students operating on their own outside of campus, it'll be impossible for me to be in all places at once to keep an eye on things. Which is why I prefer if we can get all of this straightened out before we leave, so I can put this idiot's machinations to bed once and all. Once and for all. <laughs> Sounds like there's more to this than meets the eye. But even without me knowing, I understand where you're coming from. Not something we should put on the back burner, that's for sure. So does that mean you'll help me? I've come this far, so I might as well. Plus, I'm curious what would make it so fun, as you put it. Guessing you have some sort of reason you want me to help you specifically? I do, and have a good hunch as to who it might be behind this. He's the kind of person who would be best to handle with your help. Of course, I want to make it worth your time, too, so I've arranged a special reward award for you in addition to your usual commission. There's a famous ice cream maker in Liberal who put out a brand new gelato flavor. A flavor that I just so happen to have flown to me all the way from Grandsell. You interested? How do you get ice cream flown to you without it melting? Interested. That flavor's the hottest topic right now in the sweets magazine I read. I thought they had orders for that stuff backed up all the way to next year. What can I say? If I want your services, I've got to make sure I come prepared. That's the least I could do. <laughs> you know me too well, Kitty. If that's on the line, you can be damn sure I'll earn my keep. Let's get to work. You've already had sweets today, though, so he, he can't actually have more sweets. It's against his rules. Van and Ren started looking into any suspicious information related to Hermes. With Ren already having identified a few leads, the investigation proceeded smoothly. Soon, they found what, what group and who was behind everything. Holy shit. 
matching obviously evil mafia <laughs> outfits. Okay, next now that the plan is settled, all with all that's left is to take action during their school trip. Remember that we're only helping you because our boss trusts your plan to work. This better go off without a hitch. Of course it will. Just follow the plan and we'll soon we'll be rolling in ransom dough. Am I not part of the Dolar family? It's my responsibility to see things through. Hmm. Heh, <laughs> that's not all. If students continue getting kidnapped, the student council president will have to involve herself soon enough. The situation will soon demolish her reputation, and as she lay in rambles, sh shambles, we can lure her in with the ki kidnapped students. Hold up. This is not... What was that kid's name? Oh. Ran Randolph? Oh god, what was his name? Okay, apparently his name's Ronald uh, Griffith. This is definitely probably not him, but look at that hair. Look at that hair. That guy who she destroyed. Kinda? Kinda looks like him. A little bit. But he he's part of the Dolor family? Is that... Did he join the mafia? A mafia group after? This definitely seems like it might be him. <laughs> I'll finally be able... Oh. <laughs> I had to read one more line. I'll finally be able to exact revenge on that accursed Ren Bright. I'm certain my father will be most pleased when he hears about this. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I figured it out beforehand. My Ronald, you're a devoted man, aren't you? I'm most amazed you still remember me after all this time. Uh, is this, is this Ren and Van already? I ain't so sure that a daddy's boy like him is the kind of fan club you want to have after you. Yeah. What? What in the world are you doing here? I had my suspicions that you would be the one pulling the strings around here, Ronald Griffith. I'm just glad that I decided to try to figure out who it was before they announced it, but they announced it, like, right after. Oh, huh. That jogs in my memory a little. I've been directly dealt with this rat before. This is your former classmate, yeah? The one that had a bone to pick with you and ended up getting expelled after trying to mess with you? The very same. You were very... You were most helpful taking up information on his father at the time, even if it was through a, our mutual reporter acquaintance. You must extend my thanks again for assisting me then. You two have no idea what hell you've put us through after you've ruined my father's career. No, I don't. And I couldn't care less either. You two were just asking for it. Ugh. So let me re recapitulate here. Your grand plan was to engineer a series of, series of kidnappings to, as you put it, enact your revenge on me. What a tedious and oblique way of going about the things you, you have. Give him some credit. His brain might not be turning on right after what you did him. Did to him. Probably scared him shitless of a. Wait. Probably scared him shitless of a face to face confrontation. Was that. Probably scared him shitless of a face? I think that was incorrect. You strike a good point there. D d don't make fun of me. Me joining the Dolar family was all so I could make you pay. We're a mafia with roots dating back to the very history of the Republic. We're not going to be me we're not to be messed with. So don't you dare underestimate me. Man, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. I would say the Dolar family figures in at about the third largest mafia in the Republic. They vied for the second spot years ago, just behind Hayaway. Back then, they held an immense amount of power. However, Almada's recent move, moves have managed to displace them from their zone of influence, and they haven't been as active as, as a result. Uh, shut up. I don't want to hear Almada's name anywhere in relation to us. Oh my, is Almada yet another sore spot for you? My apologies, that was so inconsiderate of me. You bitches are really asking for it now. I might have to, have to fast track things now, but you falling straight into my hands must be a blessing from Adios herself. 
Thank you for saving me the trouble. To show my gratitude, I'll give you a demonstration of my true, the true darkness this world is capable of. <laughs> Please pull out your scythe. Uh, what's so damn funny? Pardon me, Ronald. I couldn't quite help myself. Such a declar cute declaration to make towards me, of all people. You are out of your depth. Shall we, Spriggan? Ugh, fine, but I ain't doing all the work here. Hmm. You needn't worry. I have a message I need to help them to hear loud and clear. You don't ever try to harm my students. <laughs> you don't scare me. Well, it won't take me ten minutes with you until every bone in your body is crying in pain. Oh, is she just gonna use arts? Maybe she doesn't have a scythe anymore. No. You, you gotta be shitting me. We're, we're the real mafia. Those gangsters from last year were nothing compared to us. So, how? Well, we didn't even get a scratch in. You were right about one thing. It did indeed take less than ten minutes. Now that I think about it, I remember one of our grunts talking about getting their shit kicked in by a student before. Shit, I think that's the... is. I think this is that R cart ride dude that's been making waves all over. Uh, wait, the one who's been messing with Almada? Uh, what the hell is he doing here? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> this ain't a joke. We've got no cho chance against him. Uh, run, everyone. I'm gonna guess they're pretty low on the family's pecking order, but I still expected them to put up a better fight. Oh, wait, please. What was it, Ronald, that you said before? Oh, I know. Something about demonstrating the true darkness this world is capable of. Uh, the sheer audacity to even dare utter that. You, who's never had the courage to truly gaze at the abyss and have it stare back at you. Maybe it's about time I show you the true despair of that darkness. No, dear. We've reached the same outcome as before. I expected all, all the bravado to take him further this time. At least we managed to clean up last time's leftovers. So this should be spick and span from here on. And that we have. I must thank you again for your help. That's one more time to add to the tally. You probably didn't even need me here, let's be honest. You've come a long way from the kitty I first met. Good work today, Bren. <laughs> Likewise. Having completed their objective, Fan accompanied her back to the surface for the promised gelato. The two took a short break together. Van enjoying his reward- oh my god, alongside a black tea of Ren's recommendation. That wasn't a bad way to kill time. Van, you're breaking your own rules. That's un un uncalled for. But that was, that was great. That was, that was great. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, God, it's gone. That said Van got ATS up from hanging out with her. Does that mean we're not going to get to fight with her ever in this? Oh, probably not. Because even Elaine, when you hang out with Elaine, it gets Elaine stat up. But when you hung out with her, it was stat up for him. Same with Rene. Rene. Renee gave him stat points, so I guess you can kind of tell who you're gonna get to at least fight with. Like Fee, Fee, you get to fight with, but she's obviously not a permanent party member. She belongs to class seven. Ninety dishes. Now, right? Three movies. I should. Oh no, I kept reloading. Yeah, we are at three. And that's it. Alright, with that, um, I highly doubt this is even gonna matter. Let's be on our way. I, I don't I don't think yeah, there's nothing to report. Okay. With that, we are done. We are we are done with all the side stuff. We can move on to hang out with Jin in the next episode, and what does he want us to we have to go to the 13th? What whatever that is? Not the void. The, 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 the 13th district but I'm so curious where it's gonna be but I gotta take a break after re-recording the last episode like twice uh, 
and this episode. I plan to do multiple, but I am so exhausted. <laughs> and I'm glad to take at least one episode tomorrow going in and saying, okay, I don't have to talk to every NPC. I love having those just one time breaks. And then you send me back in, I'm, I'm refreshed. I'm ready to talk to everyone at nighttime. So next episode for sure is that, and then probably some nighttime exploration, depending on how long it takes. So uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.